All right, Ben, alone in the rain, several Detroit public school students caught in the aftermath of some protests. Glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 11. Nearly a dozen arrests of people protesting in-person summer school disrupted the bus schedule today. It led to some students being caught in the rain and a nine-year-old little girl left alone for more than a half hour in a west side neighborhood. Jason Colthorpe spoke. Yeah, and the, these protests are now four days strong, Kim, and the mother I talked to said that the DPSCD and this busing company should have been better prepared because of that. And instead, it led to her nine-year-old being stranded as well as some other kids. A terrible day for me. A terrible day for Taylor Davis because it began with her standing in the rain for almost 40 minutes alone. So she was standing there by herself. She's nine. To get to her school, Taylor is picked up near home and minutes later transfers to another bus at Dixon Elementary. But today, the second bus wasn't there. You're across the street from a really well-known drug area. So how do I know that they're not going to just possibly see my child wandering around and take her? If anything could have happened. So it was nobody there, so I got scared. So I just went back. It's like the garden place is like really an area. I went to the roof. I didn't go all the way back, but I went to the roof part and then I saw buses, but they just drove past. To hear that she's wandering around, that's not okay. The second bus eventually showed up, but Crystal still hasn't cooled off. Oh, I'm upset. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> I'm upset. Hey, I'm with Channel 4. I called earlier, but uh, the buses are run by ABC Student Transportation. Sir, turn the camera on. After an initial no comment, the company gave us a statement saying it was protesters who blocked the buses and were eventually arrested that threw the timing of the routes into disarray. The protesters didn't stop the bus driver from letting my child off at an unsupervised location. Your lack of communication put my child at danger, and that's not okay. ABC also told me it got several calls from concerned parents uh, earlier today about that, but it says it was able to pick up every student, make sure they were taken to the schools and they had no issues as the day went on. Kimberly? Yeah, it was, so Jason, what does the district have to say about this? Not much, uh, certainly not to us anyway. We couldn't get a comment. They referred us to the busing company and Nikolai Vidi, the superintendent on Twitter, indirectly blamed the protesters as well. But Crystal's also a little upset that she couldn't even get a simple apology from the superintendent's office or from the busing company. And her message is pretty simple. Do better, yeah. learn from this yeah. so it doesn't happen to another child and another family. Yeah. Kim? And, and, and glad uh, the little girl is okay tonight. All right, Jason, we appreciate it.